Thanks. Hi, my name's Ian Jolliffe. I'm one of the members of the Technical Steering Committee of the Starling X project. I'm really happy to be here this morning to share with you all the great work that the Starling X team has been doing over the last number of months. Dean, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the uh, architecture of Starling X? OK, thank you, Ian. Um, Starling X pulls together a set of well-known open source products, uh, components such as Ceph, CentOS, um, Libvirt, QEMU, and Open vSwitch. We add to that an opinionated OpenStack configuration tailored specifically for edge style use cases. And then on top of all of that, we add some new services that fill in some of the gaps and does the integration work for all of these individual pieces. Uh, this does everything from initial installation and configuration of the complete cloud to adding APIs for hardware and software inventory for fault and alarm handling and management, um, the detection of and recovery of hardware and process failures, and zero impact orchestration of patching and upgrades. These are the services in the middle of this diagram that we informally call the flock. Uh, they look and feel and act a lot like OpenStack services. They're all written in Python. And uh, it's, it's very similar to what we're all used to. It uses pretty much the same processes and tooling. These services have already proven their value in production use solving real world use cases. And I think you've got some more information about those use cases, Ian. Yeah, thanks, Dean. So uh, if you look at the way Starling X is built, it's really to focus on low latency performance at the edge of the network so that we can really drive down the latency of uh, the solutions. And, and the use cases are really looking at decoupling hardware and the software stack so that we can get new ways of scaling and leveraging these great cloud technologies that the OpenStack has built over the last number of years. So we're seeing that in 5G with uh, uh, the VRAN use case, uh, being able to uh, really drive the, the consolidation of some of the uh, radio network elements, but also optimizing for very small uh, edge devices further out at the edge of the network. We're seeing that bridge into, uh, into uh, transportation uh, use cases as well, being enabled by these five, 5G network technologies. And we're really seeing some people uh, turning locomotives, for example, or uh, subway systems into rolling data centers so they can optimize their, their route planning and power consumption over the, uh, the full, the full uh, railway network, but also using it for safety critical infrastructure so that they can uh, use um, artificial intelligence to measure how uh, the video streams off the front of a locomotive are being uh, used to, to avoid uh, safety incidents. One area that I'm really excited about is uh, healthcare. Again, uh, imaging systems used to be tightly coupled uh, with their uh, hardware, and so they had a, a big compute uh, infrastructure associated with the, uh, uh, a single imaging system. But we're now seeing people decoupling that infrastructure and uh, being able to improve the, the processing time and uh, uh, overall patient experience and the clinician experience so that they can uh, bring all this rich data set from many imaging systems, many diagnostic technologies, all together to uh, really bring that solution end-to-end -end with low latency and high performance, but also uh, being able to help uh, doctors visualize uh, brain surgery all on these uh, great technologies. The technical leadership for Starling X is provided by a technical steering committee. Uh, we have currently eight members that we see here, um, many of whom are already part of the OpenStack community. In April, we plan to have an election for four of these seats, and we will add a ninth um, directly elected. And by the fall of next year, we plan to be a fully elected body. The TSC provides the technical direction, vision, architecture, um, handles the life cycles of sub-projects and uh, basically just takes care of all of the, the top level uh, technical operation of the entire project. So a few short weeks ago, we uh, had our first release uh, back on October 24th. Uh, the community was really proud of the work that they did over a, a short few months. We really look forward to getting uh, user feedback, having uh, people take Starling X for a run and uh, seeing where we can take this technology in the future. So thanks, thanks for that. 
You can have an influence on what goes into the upcoming releases. The next one is planned for this spring. Starling X is still an early stage of, uh, of its existence as an open source project, and there are plenty of opportunities to get involved and help shape the direction and make a difference in the quality and the content of what we deliver. The code for the Flock services is in Garrett. We use Storyboard to track our stories and features and Launchpad for all of the bugs. So we've got a busy day today as well. Uh, we've got a number of sessions coming up this afternoon. Um, please come join us in the forums. We're lo really looking to engage and have an open dialogue with everybody in the community. Uh, we're also going to be around in the uh, OpenStack Foundation Lounge and uh, look forward to seeing where we can take this next. Thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs>